Hello, welcome to this short session. We're going to talk about today personal property and how to transfer it in a transaction. Very important concept to understand for your, for your uh, licensing exam when it comes to the common law test. Personal property and how it is transferred in a transaction. Listen, my name is John Enzing. I'm a licensed and certified real estate instructor in Louisiana and Florida. My specialty is to private tutor and prep students for their licensing exam. Non-credited hours, but just to help you build confidence so you can pass your exam. If you go to privatetutoringsession.com, that's privatetutoringsession.com, you can book an appointment or you can email me at john.enzing at gmail.com, john.enzing at gmail.com. All right, let's dive into this personal property and transfer. Remember, real property transfers via the deed. The deed transfers real property. But how is personal property transferred? And what is the difference between real property and personal property? So personal property is defined in definition. It doesn't fit into the definition of real property. Remember, real property, you can't move it. A house, a fence, a barn, trees, you can't move it. It's permanent. Personal property, on the other hand, can be moved. Okay, so furniture, a sofa, a refrigerator, um, you know, a bedroom set, um, any other thing that can be moved. Okay, so. It doesn't fit into the definition of real property, but it is personal property and can be moved. Now, remember, personal property can be moved or is movable. It's not permanent, okay? For example, microwave on a countertop, refrigerator, washer and dryer, like we talked about, furniture, all considered personal property because it's not permanently attached. Now, here's an example. We got a pool table and a bar and the bar stools. You can see the pool table can be easily taken out of the house and the bar stools can be easily taken out of the house. Okay. You go to the right side of the picture and you see the countertop items and the portable island on wheels. Okay. Not permanently attached. Now you're looking at the cabinetry, the green cabinets, the uppers and lowers, the uh, quartz countertop or granite countertop, the fixtures, uh, water faucet fixtures and all that is all considered fixtures or real property because it's permanently attached. But all the items on the countertop itself, plus that portable island, island that's on wheels, the pool table to the left, the bar room stools, even the, chair, uh, the, the circular round table to the left, and the chairs that are not permanent, that can be moved, are all considered personal property. Now, any, and again, it's any property that's not permanently attached. Now, how is it conveyed? The word conveyance and transfer mean the same thing, okay? So if you're in a transaction and you got a pool table <clears throat> or the bar stools um, or an expensive washer and dryer or the refrigerator and you want to buy that, uh, it's not gonna get transferred as real property in the deed because the bank's not gonna finance it. So it's gotta be transferred or conveyed as personal property. And here's how that's done. <clears throat> Remember, real property is transferred or conveyed by a deed, okay, because that's what's going to be financed. It includes, it's included in the finance sale, personal property, and you need to know this for the state exam, so pay attention, make the, underline this, <clears throat> it's transferred through a bill of sale, okay? So when you go under contract for a house as a buyer, you and the seller may agree to get a washer and dryer or an over and under, or it could be an over and under washer and dryer, refrigerator, it could be the pool table. Whatever personal property you agree with or agree to that you want to, uh, to purchase, uh, it's going to be a separate bill of sale, okay, aside of the deed and real property that's being transferred. So you want to know this for the state exam. A bill of sale is what's used to transfer personal property in a transaction. Remember, it's not included in the finance sale, paid separately at the act of sale, okay? So again, a bill of sale. You may get certified funds if it's a large amount of money that you're that you're purchasing, but it's paid separately through a bill of sale. That's what you want to know. Okay, that's going to do it today for the real property uh, versus personal property and how it's conveyed and what personal property is. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you need some help, uh, go to privatetutoringsession.com, privatetutoringsession.com, book an appointment, and I can spend time one-on-one -on -one to help you prep for your exam. Okay. Good luck. Best wishes on your exam. Bye-bye now.